place makes me uncomfortable. Oh, Mr. Monk, it's just a high school. Yeah, high school wasn't the best year of my life. Oh, but look at these. Amazing. Look at that one, state champions. Okay, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, look at this one. Yeah, they're all very nice. Yeah, yeah look at that. Yeah, this, these are these two. I could never believe that they would just leave them sitting in the hallway right next to the exit. I always felt they should be locked away in a vault somewhere. Why? Who's going to take a bunch of old trophies? I don't know. Maybe somebody who's never won anything in their whole life. Somebody whose mother cleared off a mantle in the living room just waiting for one of these. Whose mother came to every track meet even when she was sick. Even when she was dying. Maybe somebody like that. Natalie, I'm talking about me. I know, Mr. Monk. Let's go. Keep your eyes closed. OK. All right. Mr. Monk, the girls and I got you a gift. Is it $57? No. You can open them now. What? Oh. Trophies. Boxes of little trophies. <laughs> the captain let me go through your files. There's a trophy for every murder you saw since the beginning of your career. World's greatest detective. Actually, you solved 104 cases, but we rounded it down. To make it an even hundred. <laughs> I don't know what to say. No, you don't have to say anything. You want to put them on your mantle? On my mantle? Oh, Mr. Monk, this one's for solving our case. It's from the whole team. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm not going to have enough room. I need a bigger mantle. <laughs> Natalie, I need a bigger mantle. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Monk, your mother would be so proud. Oh, uh, no, she wouldn't. But it's nice of you to say.